other albums as well. Now you got 10 albums, you got all the other projects, EPs, compilations, and mixtapes. Do you have a favorite album or, or project out of all those? Well, I mean, you know, Mr. Predictor, of course. Right. You know, that, that was the classic San Francisco. You know, a lot of people say, you know, it's not me talking, but a lot of people say I got the dopest album to ever come out of San Francisco. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, that of course that was my favorite. It took me took me about two, three years to put it together. That's wow. why, you know what I'm saying? Cause like the studio, the studio we was working at, uh, it had shut down for like nine, 10 months. Wow. So, you know, he had all my stuff. So when he reopened, I just went in there and went hard and finished it and, you know what I'm saying? It turned into a classic, you know right. what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I make music for fun. Yeah. You know, at the time, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what, I, I knew it was dope cause yeah. I got an ear and stuff. Right. And you know, I made the music, but I, I never would've thought it would've been all-time classic of San Francisco. You know right. Saying? Which is, so congratulations. Um, let's go, uh, do you have a favorite song out of any of those projects? Um, I got so many songs, oh. man, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> but like off of Mr. Predictor, I probably have to say, um, probably deep in the game. Uh, why? Because what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the game, and, right. you know what I'm saying, and what was going on on the streets in this back in the 90s. Same thing going on right now, what I was talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, on that album, I said 99 problems, but a B ain't one. I said that before anybody. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's documented. And that's documented. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z can't take credit for that or anything. I got that. I got that saying from an OG on Broad Street. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Okay. Uh, knowing that the Bay's known for like slang and people are taking slang from the Bay. Mm -hmm. I know E40 is one of them as you was like you said that as well. Uh, how, how do you feel about that? Knowing that, man, you know, I was the first one to do that and, and people are like taking I mean, our style. I mean, you know, I don't be tripping. You know, like me, I, 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 you know, I say a lot Let of like, I, me personally, I got a lot of slang that I didn't made up that everybody talks. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, Tweak movement, the tweak is heavy. The tweak is heavy. Yeah. Woo, that's it. all that's all me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wiz made a whole song about it, shouting me out and shout out to Wiz. Okay. That's so what's you up. know, you know, we got the tweak is heavy movement going on right now. Yeah. And that's something that originated straight from Randolph Street. That's big, that's big. Uh since 03, you've been on multiple guest appearances as well. Mm -hmm. Um, what are your top three guest appearances that you have appeared on? Uh, probably have to be with well, the most popular one. Mm -hmm. Probably that um back in the days of West Coast Bad Boys, yeah. stressed out, you yeah. know, um, the Herm yeah. compilations, yeah. you know, all the stuff I did with RBL. Yeah. Then um, I mean, you know, I didn't, I didn't done so much stuff, oh. so many compilations, <laughs> man. It's just, and I'm still, I'm still doing stuff. Yeah. Like you know, me and Jacket just had a big song that was in the streets, won't be right, right when right. his album dropped. So. Yeah. That's what's up. One of my favorites too. Okay, most definitely. What what's up with Inner City 2K? Well, you know, we still moving. Uh huh. Inner City 2K is still a moving man. You know, I, I, I'm still out here making beats and still looking for dope talent and still putting music out. And you know, I've just been pushing this um, Chemical Baby clothing right yeah. now to CBC. CBC. You know, we're in like 80 stores right now. Damn, what well, are the top stores you're in? Um, Sheik's, mm. we're in Sheik's, Dr. Get J's. Them. Right around here too, in the stack right yeah, here? Oh, okay. Yeah, right there, at, um, right at the mall. Um, we in um, Sheik's, Dr. J's, mm. um, Evelyn's, which is, I think they got like 80 some stores on the East Coast. Oh, you in East too? That's, yeah. that's big. Oh yeah, we all in New York, oh. Georgia, Chicago, the main Florida. Cities and cities. Oh yeah, it's bigger than here. That people just see it here, yeah. but you know, I go to a lot of trade shows, I go to clothing conventions, wow. and that's how I pick up accounts. You know right. what I'm saying? That's big. And we just picked up a big account, City Gear. City Gear, um, they got like 90 stores all in the South and the Midwest. Congratulations. Yeah, so I'm just pushing this pushing this move. Right Let's now. talk about the CBC uh, clothing line now. Yeah. Uh, what do you got? What clothing do you got, do you got uh, as of uh, clothes, shirts, pants? Oh, we got um, we got a full line right now. We got hoodies, beanies, hats, yeah. varsity jackets. Hmm. We getting off into the accessories, you know. Um, hmm. We got a skate team we putting together. Okay. That's big. Um, you know, we just did a collabo with DGK. Okay. You know, you know, DGK is like the number one skateboard yeah. team in the world where That's they tight. want it. It's tight. Um, got upcoming collabos with um, mm -hmm. with Black Scale 2015. We got um, we got a lot of stuff coming up. We got a collabo with E40 
dropping on um, when his album dropped. The other next three albums? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just working, man. I'm yeah. working. That's what's up, man. Um, let's go into um, how. Oh, yeah, I already said the Kuna one. Um, what do you. Uh, um, what were the top three artists that you got to work with off top? Mm -hmm. Popularity is just my favorite. Just off you, off Jaselski to you, like, yeah, I got to work with these three. Well, I mean, you. Put it like this. I got to work with Cool Nut, right. Mr. Peace. C, Peace. Killer Keys, and Man. Hitman. You know what I'm saying? And Lil yeah. Swoop. Man. Them is five dudes that, you know what I'm saying, I can just say that I honestly can say that I work with because they gone right now and they yeah. not here no more. So if you had a message to give any of those guys right now, what would you tell them? I tell them, man, we you know what I'm saying, I'm here. If y'all ever needed me, you know, I ain't going nowhere. I'm still right here, man. The same sales game. I ain't gonna change, man. So, you know, I just wish they all was here to see to see the success, man. Because, you know, they, they'll still be succeeding, too. Right, right. You know, Nutt would be a, a super OG right now. Yeah, I, I heard a lot of people say that he, he was on the verge of becoming really, really big. Oh, yeah, because you guys, man, because you know Pop, you right. know, Pac used to, Pac used to always call Nutt, too. <laughs> Like, you know, nut, nothing went down there to L.A. to mess with Suge and Pac on a couple right. different occasions. So, wow. you know, it was it was, it was going to be some, some deals stuff. on the table, man. You know what I mean? Man. So, you know, so, you know, God just called his children home, man. That's all. Man, if you could work with anybody, top three worldwide, any genre that's alive, who would you want to work with? crazy you say that because it was one person I always wanted to work with and that was twisted because he like Twist, one of the okay. dopest <laughs> rapper he's like in my top three of the dopest I can see something with y'all though yeah, man, but you know me dope. and Twist that's my homeboy so yeah. I got to work with him oh you did yeah, yeah oh. we got plenty of songs together oh wow you know what I mean so I got to work with one of the people that, that I always wanted to, wanted to work, work with, with. okay it was Twister Twister yeah you know what I'm saying I always wanted to work with Cool G Rap because that's one of my other favorites yeah one of my other favorite rappers and I'd probably say, I'd probably say somebody like Cheesy or something. Please. You know, he's you know, on my level. That's what's still. Exactly. <laughs> Most definitely. So, uh, for all the fans that are listening right now, that are tuned in, or just that are a fan of Selsky and listeners, uh, do you have a message for them? Man, for all the youngsters that's in school, man, yeah. stay in school. You know what I mean? Don't let nobody detour your dreams. Yeah. If that's what you want to do. Go on and do it, man. Don't let nobody tell you you'll be a failure at it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta fail first, man. Don't let nobody tell you you fail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when you fail, you gonna pick right back up and go on to the next thing. So, you know, that's my advice I give to the to the students. Students out here. Yeah. Don't do drugs, because drugs <laughs> is